All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with a new Life After Navy video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, a very popular topic that uh, a lot of people have been asking me about, and that is what I miss about the Navy. So I had to really kind of sit down and think about it, and uh, these are uh, some of the answers that I came up with. And these are in no particular order, by the way. These are just off the top of my head. So. <laughs> Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, first thing I miss is the uh, guaranteed paychecks on the 1st and 15th. Um, Got to be honest, uh, before I joined the Navy, I was working a lot of fast food and retail jobs and just a bunch of uh, odd jobs here and there. I was barely making enough money to even survive, really, and uh, just getting by on the skin of my teeth, really. Uh, I didn't have enough money for a lot of nice things. That I have now, you know, the majority of those are thanks to my paychecks from the uh, U.S. Navy. So right on, and it's just nice to know that come the first and fifteenth, and usually a little earlier, depending on who your bank is, you get those uh, paychecks and stuff. So that's really cool, you know, especially once you hit E5 and get BAH, then uh, you get your own place that's essentially paid for. <laughs> With through BAH, you don't have to, you know, pay for it out of pocket through your base pay and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty dope, I gotta say. Um, another thing I miss is uh, getting to see and live in different countries and places. This was one of the big uh, reasons why I decided to join the Navy was to get out and explore beyond Ohio. You know, nothing wrong with Ohio for the most part, <laughs> but you know, I lived there for pretty much all my life and uh, I wanted to get out and explore new places and see new countries and explore places outside of America even you know and uh, different parts of America as well you know I got to see Chicago I uh, got to see San Diego I lived there lived out there for a total of about two and a half three years so that was pretty nice and then went out went out to Yokosuka for about two almost two and a half years as well it's a lot of fun not only visiting those different places and countries but also in my case living out in japan for over two years so that was really nice and i really look look back fondly on those moments uh, the next thing is the camaraderie in my division so being a sonar tech part of ca division that stands for combat acoustics my division was pretty tight with it, with uh, with each other, because we'd often stay and watch together. And being a sonar tech, you know, your watch station is down in sonar control for the most part, unless you're doing you know certain exercises or something like that, or you're high enough, you know, in the food chain to where you stand other watches in combat. But primarily, as a sonar tech, you would stand watch in sonar control, which is isolated from everybody else pretty much so the only the only people in sonar control unless they're visiting are sonar techs so you know you get to work with each other a lot standing watch and you know doing things within the division and you know basically like ca as a division is very um is very self-sufficient because of all this constantly working with each other sort of thing we eventually develop very tight bonds with each other and the sonar community in general online is also pretty tight-knit as well so you know I often miss those times hanging out with uh, people in my division you know for the most part there are some people I'm like eh, you know but you know for the most part I like hanging out with everybody and uh, stuff like that and that's something I really miss out in the civilian world because you don't really get stuff like that at a normal job you know, most nine to five jobs and stuff like that. I mean, you may find some, you know, work friends you might have lunch with or something every once in a while, but you don't get that tight bond that you do with uh, being in the military. So that's something I definitely miss. And the last thing here is being proud of where I worked and what I did. So like I said, before I joined the Navy and now that I'm out, I used to work a lot of fast food, retail, a lot of minimum wage jobs that, that are often looked down upon, you know, and I see this a lot at McDonald's too, where, 
you know, people tend to get a big attitude with, uh, with the workers there thinking that they're completely incompetent and just, you know, going off on this whole big thing. And it's just, you know, they're not really looked at very fondly. It's, n it's not something that most people are proud of saying, well, I, I work at McDonald's or I work at Walmart or whatever. You know, it's not something to be proud of. And I, you know, I'm happy to say, proud to say <laughs> that, you know, I served in the U.S. military, U.S. Navy, veteran, all that jazz. And uh, even while I was in, you know, I was always proud to say, you know, well, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm, I'm in the Navy, I'm in the U.S. military. It's pretty cool. And, you know, it's a good, it was a good conversation starter, I think, you know, especially out in Japan where if you see any foreigners and stuff, you know, they'd be like, well, what school do you work for? You know, because the vast majority of them just teach English for a living. You know, nothing wrong with that, I guess, but, uh, you know, that's, <laughs> the conversations kind of, you know, go to, you know, school-related things, and, you know, since I was in the military, it's like, I can't really relate to that, because, you know, it's a whole different environment, so I was often, you know, asked a lot of questions by foreigners, like, you know, because they were very curious about what life is like in the military and stuff like that, and, you know, it was really fun to talk to them about it. And I felt very proud of what I did and stuff like that, you know. Granted, I wasn't forward deployed in Afghanistan or Iraq or anything like that. But I was still deployed overseas doing good things, doing a lot of Good Samaritan work, global fighting force and all that jazz, you know, Merca. <laughs> so... Yeah, those are uh, four things that I miss about uh, being in the Navy. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about things I don't miss about being in the Navy. So be sure to stay tuned to that video. But for now, this is the Andy Son signing off for now. <laughs> thanking you guys for tuning into this video and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always... We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.